Chest and my chin are up, and now I'm ready to finish the technique. Aloha, guys! Welcome to another episode of Perfect the Craft. You already know who it is: Andy Hung from Dojo Outfitters and Portland Judo. And today I'm here with Chris Chamlin. I'm out in Las Vegas training at Cobra Kai, formerly of Portland Judo. Up here on vacation. What better way to spend it than getting thrown by my my uh, teacher and mentor, Andy Hung? Perfect. And Chris is the perfect uke for a dojo legal teguruma. It's dojo legal because we do end up grabbing a leg and it looks like this. Okay, so a dojo legal teguruma, right? It looks like this. We're going to come in. My lead hand's going to go over. I'm going to cut his tricep here, okay? Right in the back of his arm. The grip coming over and into this elbow crease right here, right in the back of this tricep. And we don't necessarily even need to get a gi grip. We could just kind of scoop our hand over. Right? And what that allows me to do is when I'm actually coming under, I can almost pull this elbow through and really tuck this limb into his own hip. Okay. My back hand, I'm going to make a U with my hand. I'm going to look at the come up and parry this arm just to create the space to bring my body into the technique. Now for this side, especially in the heat of Rondori or in the heat of battle, there's going to be a lot of static to break through. But what we want to do is to get under this limb so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll come up and I'll use my pointer and my thumb as like a U. And I'm going to pop this forearm up very quickly. And when I pop that up, I'm also going to lower myself to get under this armpit. It looks like this. Now my feet, I'm going to bring my back leg in and then take a half step with my lead leg just to get myself close to the technique. Okay. So just a little tip on the footwork for this technique. Okay. When I'm coming in and I'm pairing this forearm, my back leg's gonna move first, okay? But if you notice too, my lead leg, after I take the back step forward, my lead leg's gonna take a half step to further bring myself closer to my uke here. Looks like this. Okay, notice how I brought my tailbone and hips into the technique. So when I teach this technique, what I tell people to do is to bring their hips into the technique with them, okay? And let's take a look at what happens if we don't do that. So if I come in for my tegaruma here, and I leave my hips back, okay? Just look what that does to my uh, posture here. My chest is over my center line. I'm also not in a very strong position, okay? Chris, right here, I'm in the perfect position to get sumigashi'd, right? So it looks like this. My hips are back. I'm coming in. He grabs my belt. My chest and my chin are up, and now I'm ready to finish the technique. I'm gonna curl my arm right behind his hamstring and hug it nice and tight, okay? To finish, we're gonna do a nice circular motion with our hands and dump him over his right shoulder. So now that we're in the position to finish, we're gonna go over two major details to finish this tegiruma. One's gonna be me sucking in this elbow to start half of the circular motion, and the second part's gonna be my hand finishing the hamstring to finish the circular motion. So when we put it together, it looks like this. Okay, and that is a dojo legal tegaruma because we do end up grabbing the leg and in current competition rules, grabbing the leg is illegal by a shido. Uh, make sure you ask your sensei. You know what, don't even ask your sensei. Just do the move on him and then see what he says about it, okay? But if you do like the content and the technique, make sure you guys share it and make sure you guys click subscribe down below. Mahalo.